Beth Kavner, Animal Body, Human Space. Beth Kavner is an American artist that focuses on the creation of animal forms that communicate human pathos. These sculptures are created through the use of metal armatures and clay. For the artist's full statement, as well as her portfolio, please visit followtheblackrabbit.com. This sculpture is titled The Adoration. One cannot help but recognize the reference this work makes to Christ, the sacrificial Lamb of God. The title of this work, however, references Christ's identity as a child adored by the three kings. The contrast between the work's title and form, however, demonstrates the paradoxical essence of Christianity and demands that viewers turn their attention toward the Lamb itself. In this moment of metaphorical sacrifice, the Lamb holds an expression of despair on its humanistic face. Viewers are caught in the inconsistency of the event. Surrounding the sacrifice is a righteous cause, yet the suffering of the lamb distracts from any adoration one can place upon it. The sacrifice is rendered cruel, ambiguous, and empty. As a result, we are forced to look within ourselves. What have we sacrificed, and was it worth it? This work is titled Feed. It features the head of a wolf rendered in a bright red shade. From an animalistic perspective, the wolf yearns to quench its physical hunger. From a humanistic perspective, however, the wolf yearns to fill an emotional rather than a physical void. The face of the wolf communicates mundane emotions. Longing, heartache, greed, loneliness are just a few that come to my mind. One cannot help but identify with this longing. It is part of the heart, of the soul. Something is always missing, and this longing leaves a hole in one's heart. What is it you crave? What is your vice? This sculpture is titled Committed. It features two animals with their heads bent together. This moment seems comforting, but the chain that holds both animals together provokes feelings of entrapment and fear. As such, the work challenges the notion of the mundane monogamous relationship. Why, as humans, do we fear this commitment? We yearn for this sense of belonging, yet turn away from it when it's been achieved. Why do we always revert to a nomadic nature, a life of loneliness and longing? Is it because we fear the imprisonment of commitment? Perhaps it is not imprisonment we fear, but abandonment.